And we're back now in the town hall. As we mentioned at the top of the show, this is National Child Abuse Prevention Month. And we're joined again, hopefully, by Rebecca Stevens, director of the Child Advocacy Center at Best Self. Rebecca, thanks again. We all know that Zoom can sometimes be a challenge, so we're glad that you're back with us. You know, we wanted to talk with you about raising awareness here. The numbers can be jarring, but what do Western New Yorkers need to know about the child abuse situation here in our area? Um, I think just understanding that the Child Advocacy Center exists is important, that we're here to reduce the trauma, the number of child or times a child might have to repeat their story, where if there wasn't a Child Advocacy Center, a child might have to go from the teacher to the guidance counselor to the principal to the CPS worker, each time repeating the abuse that's happened and having to relive that. Where what we do is we bring the child and all those investigators to the CAC. It's a more comfortable environment. The child tells their story once and we can set them on their path to healing by providing them with medical resources and mental health and therapy resources as well. And that really is a big change from how things were before where children did have to tell several adults what was going on. Um, how is this new system um, helped in the overall um, addressing of the issue? Well, we hope it's made it a easier process for the community. There's just one or two phone calls that somebody would have to make in order to report child abuse, and therefore less, um, less time takes place before a child gets to start that investigation, gets to start that healing, has a medical appointment and understands that their body isn't broken, and that just because this has happened to them doesn't mean it's something that they have to carry throughout their life. We really want children to come forward as early as possible to tell their story and to stop dealing with the negative impacts that trauma can have on a child. We wanted to take this opportunity because a big part of this month is raising awareness and educating people about how do you look for signs of abuse? Because people may wonder if I see signs or maybe just suspect, well, then what? Because certainly there can be a worry of doing the wrong thing or maybe making things worse. What do people need to know about that part? If, I think it's really important that all of us adults in the community take the responsibility for making sure children in our community are safe. So if you see something, say something is the most important things. Um, a simple phone call to the New York State Child Protection Hotline will at least start an investigation going. And all you have to have is a suspicion. You don't have to know, you don't have to have proof. They'll do a quick investigation and they'll see and ensure that that child is safe. That number is 1-800-342-3720. Some possible warning signs might be change in that child's behavior, changes in whether or not they wanna go see trusted or loved adults that they previously had no problems with. Could be bedwetting or nightmares um, or just antisocial behaviors and things that just seem like that they're not themselves. It's good to know that information. Finally, we want to ask you um, that Best Self has several events planned for April to raise awareness for child abuse, including a partnership with Paula's Donuts. Tell us about that. Oh my goodness, if you can make it to any of the four Paula's Donuts locations for the month of April, they've come up with the cutest Cookie Monster Donut that you just have to eat. It's so cute. Um, but we also have uh, other events planned. You can go to cacbuffalo.org and look them up, including a 5K at the end of the month on April 24th. But there are lots of other community supporters that are listed on our website. So we hope you'll see our pinwheel gardens and come on down to the, the um the 5K and, and go grab a donut from Paula's and support the cause. And we do want to mention that WGRZ is a partner with the Child Advocacy Center at Best Self. We've been talking with Rebecca Stevens. Rebecca, thanks again for joining us and having this important conversation tonight. Thank you for having me. And we also want to note that if there is a child who is in immediate danger, please don't wait. Call 911. And New York State again has set up a child abuse hotline. It's 800 342 3720.